Hi. The topic are priori analysis and posteriori analysis. What is actually a priori analysis and a posteriori analysis? You know, the time complexity of an algorithm can be calculated by using these two methods. Okay? A priori analysis is nothing but an analysis done on a specific algorithm without actually testing it on a specific computer or operating system. Okay? And the posteriori analysis is the reverse. Less the analysis is done after you have tested the algorithm on a specific computer. Okay? So, a priori analysis is an absolute analysis. Okay? It is independent of the language of compiler and the type of hardware. It will give an approximate answer. Okay? It uses the asymptotic notations to represent how much time the algorithm will take in order to complete its execution. The time complexity of an algorithm using the priori analysis is same for every system. You get it, okay? So if the program running faster, credit goes to the programmer, right? That's what we can see about the priori analysis. Now the posteriori analysis, as we said, is analysis done, okay, in a, an algorithm after we have tested that particular algorithm on a specific computer, okay? So posteriori analysis is a relative analysis. Okay, that's what we can see. So it is now dependent on the language of compiler and type of hardware. It will give the exact answer, okay, because we're actually testing it on a particular system. So it doesn't use asymptotic notations to represent the time complexity of an algorithm. So the time complexity of an algorithm using the posteriori analysis differ from system to system. Okay, so if the time taken by the algorithm is less then the credit will go to the compiler and the hardware okay so that's all about priori and posteriori analysis see you in the next tutorial then bye